Hello students, how are you all? Today we are going to start the chapter electricity which is a very important chapter in physics. But uh, before discussion of electricity we will understand the meaning of this word called electricity. I want to ask you a question. Do you know charge? Yes. Positive charge, negative charge. Positive charges are protons and negative charges are electrons. Right. Now, say this is a wire. Simple wire. Now, if I say you that charges are passing through this wire. Understood? Whether it's positive charge or negative charge. Charges are passing through this wire. That means electricity is passing. Understood? So electricity or current electricity means the passing of charges through an object. When some charges are passing through an object, we say it electricity or current electricity. Or we say current is passing through that circuit or current is passing through that body okay now here we will discuss about electrons we will see that electrons are passing through a wire this is the wire through which electrons are passing that means electricity is passing okay say This is the wire, simple wire, through which electrons are passing. Electron is passing through this wire. Now, since electron is passing, so we can say that current electricity is passing. Got it? Means electricity. Now, if I say you that one electron is passing through this wire, only one electron is passing through this wire. That means how much charge is passing? One electron means 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. This is the amount of charge is passing through this wire. Fine. Now if I say you 10 electrons are passing, then First, 1 electron means 1.76 into 10 to the power minus 19. If 10 electrons are passing, then 10 into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19. Like this. 10 electrons means 10 into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19. Fine. So, 1 electron means 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19. 10 electron means 10 into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19. If 1000 electrons are passing, then 1000 into 10 to the power 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. Got it? Now, if I say you that 10 electrons are passing in just 2 seconds. Got it? Through this wire, 10 electrons are passing in just 2 seconds. Then, we will say that what is the number of electrons? 10. What is the charge of 1 electron? 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19. How much charges are passing? Into this. This much charge is passing. We have to divide this by how much time it is taking? 2 seconds I said. So by 2. Got it? Now if you calculate it, what you are getting? 2, 5, ja? 5 into 1.6 that is 8 into 10 to the power minus 19. Now we will call it amount of current passing through that wire. Got it? That means what we have done here n is the number of electrons into e is the charge of one electron by time. What I said, this is the amount of current. So, amount of current equal to Ne 
by t n is the number of electrons passing is the charge of one electron t is time so in this way i can find the amount of current passing like what is n number of electrons what is e charge of one electron what is the unit coulomb t is time unit second in this way i equal to n by t after calculation this is the amount of current and which is equal to sorry the unit of this is a means ampere the unit of current is ampere okay now let us solve a numerical based on this formula read the question 1000 electrons are passing through a wire in 1 minute find the amount of current okay so let us put this values in the formula i equal to n e by t n is the number of electrons 1000 what is the charge of one electron yes by time time is 1 minute since the time is given in 1 minute we have to convert it into second 1 minute means 60 second so it's 60 Correct. So, if the time is given in second, then directly you put the value. If the time is given in minute, you have to convert it into second. Don't forget. Then put the values and calculate it. After calculation, whatever you are getting, that is the answer. That is the amount of current. That is ampere. That ampere of current you are passing through that wire. Understood? Now let us consider. some charges are there and one positive charge i mean one coulomb positive charge is at infinity let us draw it here are some charges okay some charges are there what is the amount of charge we do not know let some charges are there and one coulomb of charge is there at infinity far away understood now your task is you have to bring that one coulomb positive charge from infinity to this point a understood i repeat you have to bring that unit positive charge unit means one one coulomb positive charge from infinity to this point a what the amount of work you will do that work is called potential at this point that is at a understood i repeat the definition of potential the potential is the amount of work done by you to bring an unit positive charge from infinity to a particular point of charged field that is the potential at that particular point got it now where is your positive charge from infinity you got it here so my positive charge is here now now another task i am giving you you have to take this positive charge from a to b this is point b you have to take it from a to b got it now again we'll say the definition the amount of work done by you to take this unit positive charge from one point to another point of a charged field is called potential difference between these two points understood i repeat the definition the amount of work done by you to bring an unit positive charge from one point to another point of a charged field is called potential difference between these two points got it so we got potential and potential difference now i want to summarize that what we discussed 
we discussed about charge what is the unit of charge coulomb we discussed about current what is the unit of current ampere then we discussed potential and potential difference what are their units volt fine i'll give you a practical example do you know dry cell i mean battery which we use in the torch fine if you if you buy a battery and if you see the body of this battery you will see that on the body of this battery something is written like say this is my battery battery means the dry cell which we buy from the market you see that there something is written like this 1.5 v 1.5 v means the potential difference of this battery is 1.5 volt got it it's a very practical example whenever you see a battery you will see that somewhere it is written 1.5 volt or 3 volt or 9 volt or 15 volt something like that means that is the potential difference of that particular battery understood thank you